Hello and welcome to another Camerada soft vinyl review, mini soft vinyl review. Uh, as always, this is one from a candy store, so every box had a single piece of generic fruit candy inside. If you get it from toy stores and stuff, choose your legal reasons the candy is removed. Which is what I think is the situation, except even though the candy is removed, I don't notice the price being any cheaper. But anyway, here we are, uh, Camerada Ghost with um, probably the last drive related release. I mean, uh, I wonder if they will lump in some of the newer Gaim writers from the movie guidance, uh, the spin-off movies, because they're going to make another spin-off movie from Gaim uh, soon. Um, they just released uh, one for uh, Duke and Knuckles, so we might get another one. Uh, anyway, so anyway, got the Ghost and Drive writers here. Um, so we should at least get some special figures from the uh, Ghost and Drive movie ties in. Anyway, so we got Spectre. We got uh, Spectre in no, yeah, Spectre in the another form. And we got um, Ghost in um, the uh, red form. Now one would think that there was that uh, there's only four in this, even though they could have easily had a fifth one, like Ghost in the uh, was the Edison Edison or blue form or whatever. But uh, I don't know. Maybe we'll get them later. Maybe certain forms from Drive, uh, for example, the Funky Spike one, I believe. Not Funky Spike. No, there was one of the Drive uh, soft vinyls, which is just a normal type speed with a different tire, was released with a magazine as a single thing. So who knows? Maybe some of the Ghost stuff will be released individually with. Um, on the magazines, that'd be a little bit annoying. Uh, or maybe one of the double packs. So yeah, uh, stickers stuck in the annoying place. So side of the box, I show the you know, I think what you get exactly inside. Uh, recently, there's been uh, releases of uh, Star Wars figures in a similar way, but um, they, they cost a bit more because Star Wars. And I'm not quite sure if they're soft fine or not. But you know, the the figures the same articulation as these with uh, you know, no accessories or whatever. I think there was a lightsaber with kind of Ren, but that was it. So, uh, Spectre, whoa. So there he is, as always with these soft final stuff, uh, the molding detail is pretty excellent. Not too much detail to go on these though, uh, but what is there, what, you know, what needs to be there is there. And uh, for the most part he's the exact same old as uh, Ghost, apart from the headpiece here. Uh, got the two horns going on. Articulation, rotating there, and just the hands. Of course, these hands are soft enough so you can actually still do that. You know, um, these are soft final. They're hollow, in case you don't know that. Just pop this open, like, hey. Obviously, this would be the same. The arms here and the uh, leg piece would be the same mold as Ghost. Uh, and yeah, just like the other ones, this he is transparent. I think most of the ghost ones will be transparent until his super form, which I saw online as an image, was just like fully red. So I guess that ghost rather will be red plastic, but for the most part, all of these guys will be transparent. So, yeah, um, no paint on the back, just apart from the hood. Which is all that, can, that's all that uh, matters to me because I'm going to cut these up and uh, make little Lego figures out of them. Uh, I will try to make the Gaim ones in time for like Christmas, like this uh, end of December, so I'll see how that goes. Here's him in the uh, Egyptian outfit, the feral outfit. So again, uh, actually there are no same molds with this one, it's all brand new. I mean it's altered from the other molds, but it's all brand new because the arms, the shoulder pads are different from the normal look. And um, I just wonder if they will uh, print a ghost version of this. Uh, obviously one downside of this is um, there's no black paint on the uh, face whatsoever so um, yeah I'm gonna have to paint those myself because the effect's a bit off. I mean there's black paint on these just not on the eyes. It's a little bit off-putting. And we have here ghosts in, um, in Japanese samurai. I forget the names of these guys. But uh, there he is. He actually does have a bit of metallic paint on his gauntlet area. On the front, at least. On the back there, you see the more details all over there. Got the two stripes coming down. It's got a little sword thing on the top, which is not painted. So, but yeah, there he is. It's got the blades on the face. Hmm. Yeah, he is. Ah, uh, when I do do the uh, figures for this, I guess I'll make a generic ghost body and all these hat things and just. 
slap on top of it. It should be okay. And I have to find some way to do uh, the jacket thing, but um, maybe a cloth or some sort of paper print. I don't know. Maybe I can print some plastic sheets. Uh, figure, think of something. Finally, we have the one well, of probably our last drive related uh, mini sort of vinyl. Come by the Chaser. Uh, we're not going to get anything like, you know, uh, come around a mark chase but uh, there he is uh, but yeah um, all the details are there it even has the molded skull detail going on over there but you probably can't see it just try to when you just get a shadow maybe no no I think you can see that no oh, maybe a little bit <laughs> Trying to help me to make sure you see it, but uh, I don't know how to do that. Um, I'm zoomed in, uh, just trying to get the sharpest detail on the arm, but I can't really manage. Maybe, maybe this will do with a bit less light going on to try and shine it, but yeah, it's definitely there. It's really nice, but it's really hard to see because of the cut of the plastic. You can probably just about see the like the logo, the drive logo on here, but again, it's really hard. So uh, yeah, I really wish that would have been painted because that would have been, you know, metallic purple and be easy to see. Same as the, you know, there. Um, he does have some back print of the helmet, metallic purple, and his helmet is pretty nicely detailed. So, but aside from that, the rest of it is kind of hard to see, which is a little bit annoying. But anyway, there he is. Um, hmm. So. There you go, uh, that's the four figures released here. They could have easily had five figures with different ghost forms, but they haven't done that for some reason. I do not know why, but oh well, that's, that's the way it is. So, there you go. Uh, and as always, Mark, oh no, Chaser here is the rare one in the set. There's always uh, ten, uh, you know, ten figures per box, and there's three of these, which leaves one out. So, if you do like Chaser, then you're going to have to hunt them down. Uh, faster than the other ones because like I said the UB is the rare ones on the box as far as I can tell so there you go uh, not a bad release just like I said I wish there were a bit f one more figure here but um, from what we got and, uh, okay of course most of these are just sort of variations I'm, I'm thinking a lot of the mini fans will be just variations on the main suit of the different jackets because um, you know not that many forms going on like actual forms so it might be a bit boring for some and a lot of recycled legs but uh, for those of you who like the design of Ghost, and by all means trying to pick this up if you do like these. As for me, I'll be cutting their heads sometime when I manage to finally do the Gaim stuff, because it, yeah, I just I don't have enough time to do all of that. Yeah, subscribe, suggest, and comment below, and of course, take care. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.